Today I am going to explain about what is a lean supply chain management for profitability. So supply chain management is one of the aspects so every organization has to do. So how to improve the supply chain management with the minimum cost and maximum profit by applying a lean principles how we can able to achieve this profitability. So particularly for the small scale industries. So we are going to explain about what are the importance of supply chain management. So first of all we have to understand what is a supply chain management. So the definition of supply chain management is the process of managing the flow of material and information beginning at the lowest raw material level of the supply chain to the ultimate consumption of the finished product. The process of managing the flow of material and information beginning at the lowest raw material level of the supply chain to the ultimate consumption of the finished products. So the meaning is the material coming from the uh, factory that is incoming material to the outgoing materials. So the entire flow is nothing but a supply chain management where you can have a, a series of movement of the materials where we can reach the ultimate to the customer. So that is called a supply chain management. So what are the important elements in a supply chain management you have to understand. So first one is the uh, demand management. So demand management in the sense, what is the quantity demand by the customers? If you see the automobiles, what is the demand of the cars for the uh, next, next month? For example, you see the, uh, the demand management will come from the marketing department where you can have the data of where you can get the important customers, what they require, it's called demand management. Based on the demand, the production has to take the entire process starting from the sourcing and procurement. So they have to uh, make the material or they have to make the demand based on the demand then we have to align the process in the production. For that one we require raw material that is called sourcing. So sourcing and procurement start with the demand management then after that we have to make the material available that is called order processing. Then, based on the, the demand, we have to make the schedule that is called production schedule. So, production schedule in the sense we have to schedule the entire production, the shop floor. So, based on the demand management, then inventory management deals with the what are the materials which are available in the factory, and we have to make the order and make use of these materials for the production. Then, the transportation is the movement of the material from the within the factory and outside the factory is called a transportation. Then the warehousing is the where you can store the material is called warehousing. So where you can have a store the materials both finished as well as the uh, incoming materials. Another importance in the customer service. How we are satisfy the customer based on your requirement called customer service. Another important is the information flow. So information has to flow from various uh, or various levels in the organization from the top to bottom and the marketing to finance, finance to production, all it has to be seamlessly flow the information. It should be integrated with the some ERP, just like a ERP package or something. Then the concurrent engineering, where you can have the design and manufacturing or work together to get these aspects. Another important is the quality. So quality of the product is very important when you are talking about manufacturing the product. Then the last one is the target customer. So how your product will be matching to your requirement of the customer's called target customer. So all these comes under supply chain management. One is called demand management, another is the sourcing and procurement, then the order processing, then the production scheduling, inventory, then the transportation, and warehousing, customer service, information system, concurrent engine, quality and target customer. So these are all the various elements in a supply chain management. So the supply management success depending on the, the successful competent in the business environment, companies need to address the concept of developing complex alliances and interdependent partnerships. So when you are talking about 
the supply chain may have to, it's called a partner relationship between the supplier and the production and the production with the uh, marketing. Then marketing has to tie up with the outside agency. So it is called a interdependent partnership for successful of the supply chain line. So it is called alliance or partnership. The partnership is required from the customer as well as for the producers. Both have to be aligned properly. So here, why you have to uh, make supply chain management? And supply chain management is depend upon the company specific. Okay, so it is depend upon depending upon the company specific. The supply chain management varies. Suppose it is a small organization, the supply chain management very limited access. When you see the bigger one, if you see the, for example, Ford Motor Company, there are many components or complex are involved. For a small organization, it will be very less. So, in, if you are talking about the automobile, there may be 4,000 subvendors to be there. All are, should be aligned. So, this is depending on the specific company. And so, what are the important of these supply chains? What are the, there are some certain tools should they have taken into consideration. And the education training is necessary. And goals and expectations and the product line specification and the product line specific goals and supply specific strategy. So these are all the various strategies as to be adapted for successful completion of the supply chain management process. So the company specific has to make a strategy called supplier specific strategy based on the requirement of the material. Okay. Then supply chain management, what is a business process, how they can align the business is one of the important is cost management and reduction. So, one of the important aspects of supply chain management is you have to reduce your cost at a, a minimum level. And the other one is the demand management. So, we have to make the demand of product. How we are demand will be made with the customer. Another is the lead time reduction. Lead time reduction in the sense how we can deliver the material to the customer is called lead time analysis. The lead time is the Time taken from the order to the delivery to the product is called lead time. So lead time has to be minimum as possible. And another is agility. So we have to agility with the marketing dynamics that is called agility of the manufacturing. Another one is the competitive pressing. So suppose there are A, B, C. There are three competitors. So A will be sold at a product 100 rupees, B will be 90 and C will be 60 rupees. So we have to arrange the quality as well as the price based on your the supply chain strategy. Another is called outsourcing. Suppose your production is not at all feasible for making a component, then what you have to do is you have to outsource this product. So outsourcing and insourcing will be a decision making process by the management depending on what you are incurring, whether you are cost, whether you are making a profit or a loss. So based on the you have to make a decision whether you are in source or out source. Another is the risk management. So risk management has to analyze suppose if the material is not coming into the time. So what has to do? Or is there any shortage of it? Suppose in the recently, because of the COVID-19, many parts are such recently or some eight months, what production has been halted, suddenly the production has started. Then the search in demands, because of that search in demand by the automobiles, some of the semiconductor parts are not delivering the products. So there is a shortage in the market. So that you have to analyze. That is called a risk management. Risk management has to analyze before going for a new production line. Another is the customer saturation. It's one of the most important aspect of any business called customer saturation. Okay, so what are the critical elements needed in supply chain management? One is the procurement process. So what is your procurement, how the material will be delivered? Another is the manufacturing. So what is the capacity of your plant? Another is the logistics. How we are delivering the material in various agencies called the logistics. Then the demand management where we can fulfill the demand from the customer and the information technology which deals with the, the integration of the information the computer and latest technology nowadays are integrated with IoT and other called internet or internet all comes under information technology. So all these are critical elements for successful 
of the supply chain one is procurement then the manufacturing then the logistics the demand management and information technology and what are the elements in a demand management so what are the elements you have to take one is the order entry so we have to make how, how much order you have to that is order entry and other one is the forecasting so we have to forecast what is the requirement and the order promising then the warehouse requirement into plan order and service part requirement these are all comes under demand management when you are comes to the demand of the product so we have to forecast for next six months or next one year so and we have to make the order entry and we have to order has to be promised to the customer then warehouse requirements where the finished goods has to be stored when it is not delivered to the product suppose uh, for example if you see the coca cola they are having a uh, production will be there that will be stocked for the next seasonal demand in a summer so the warehouse requirement is very very, very much important another is the inner plant order suppose some material which are available in some other other plant we have to ship the material from one plant to another that is called inner plant orders the another is the service parts requirements once you have sell your uh, product then you have to make the customer service then you have to maintain the parts according to the customer requirements that is called service parts requirement okay and what is meant by procurement procurement is uh, how the material will be aligned with your production one is called supplier partnering so supplier has to be aligned with your production and the supplier part is very very important when you come incoming material and the flexibility of the supplier where whether you want a material should be immediate or next, next six months based on your abc analysis that's called supplier flexibility then the transportation where the material has to be coming to picture and value addition value addition is how much value you are added from the raw material to the finished that's called value addition so if you see the value addition is when you go for one production to another then number of operations will be increased that is called a value addition okay then so what are the important aspects in a manufacture okay it's so when you talking about manufacturing what and how many products will be produced per day or per month so you should have a some plan that's called production planning and control and another is what will be the produce internally and what will be the outsource so here we have to identify what is the capacity of a factory if the capacity is not meeting then some of the parts will be outsourced so which is not that means your demand is not met with the internal process so some of the parts can be outsourced to outside agency okay then another is what are the customer satisfaction drivers which are called lead time innovation internal control inventory capacity requirement quality these are all the important elements when we are talking about customer satisfaction another is the transportation of the material okay then what are the logistics logistics is the movement of the material from warehouse to the customer or coming the incoming material called logistics okay logistics will eliminate or identify the abc analysis of your parts so based on the abc analysis we can identify what is the logistics requirement and limit the inventory liability to the entire supply chain so for example if you see the c class items which are very low value but it occupies more space so you have to make a rate contract for them so that we can get them as and when required and we have to align the the suppliers so we can limit the liability of the in entire supply and another is develop a process for pulling inventory to the supplies to the point of need another is develop inventory management strategies so based on your uh, requirement you have to make a what are the inventory strategies which are uh, the latest one is ajit and the vendor management then the consignment unit and kanban kanban is nothing but a tool where you can have a tag will be there once the tag is removed then you can identify the the bin has to be fit the card can ban so this can ban system is integrated by toyota production system that comes under lean management system so lean management is first introduced by toyota where you can have all these parameters is taken into consideration
and what is meant by information technology? Information technology is nothing but electronic data interface, internet and intranet, and what are the extranet, and what are the bar coding, and other. So, all the computer ERP system comes under this one. Okay? And we will continue in the next class, the remaining topics. Okay? Thank you.